Oh, I really want to taste this. KFC chicken, like holiday food. Today, we're going to be playing a little game where I'm going to be showing you four holiday foods from around the world, and you're going to be trying not to eat them. I mean, you you should know me by now. If you give me food, it's going to go into my mouth. Now, this is called mm. Bibinka. We have traveled to the Philippines. Oh, I'm so hungry. This is a common breakfast dish from the Philippines, and it's eaten especially around the holidays, Catholic masses leading up to Christmas. It smells kind of like like popcorn. My mom and grandma love them. They're always on the side of the street when you visit the Philippines, like the street vendors always have these freshly made. My daughter's girlfriend's family is from the Philippines. There was babinka there and I never had it. And I woofed the whole piece down. I mean, I inhaled that thing. I know exactly what I'm in for and uh, it looks amazing. Well, it's probably bomb, but I can, I can definitely pass. All I can say about this is it's pretty. I don't want to eat it though. I want to lick it. I want to bite it. I wonder what the punishment food is. <laughs> this might be worth it. I'm going to focus on the banana leaves and since they don't look that, you know, appetizing, like, like that appealing, I'm going to focus on that and say, I don't want it. I don't want those leaves. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. I'm going to eat it. It's not a try not to. Not for me. It's just a try to eat. Mm. I love cheese. And there was either a big stack of cheese on here on my first bite or something because this is freaking delicious. It's so good. It's kind of like a cake, uh, like a like a white cake, I guess you can say. Um, but much more buttery. I am not that tempted. I already know what it tastes like. Um, it looks so bomb. I hope you guys enjoy it, whoever tries it, but I think I'm gonna pass this one. We have traveled to Puerto Rico. Wow. For a dish called pasteles. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Pasteles are a classic Christmas dish in Puerto Rico. The inner portion of them consists of a mixture of ground pork and an adobo blended spice sauce. And traditional Puerto Rican pasteles are boiled in hot water and served with rice, meat, fish, pigeon peas, and a hot sauce for a delicious holiday feast. Mm. It reminds me of like a tamale. I've never tried it. It looks good. It's kind of like a tamale. It does look like a tamale to me. Um, of course, darker. <laughs> Oh, I really want to taste this. My fear is, what is the punishment food? Does it cheat on its boyfriend like my Puerto Rican did? I can see, smell the DMs from here. I'm triggered. I was sent back. I'm curious to try. I'm just going to go ahead and try The taste is um, relatively bland. I mean, honestly, it's, it's, it's not very overpowering. I would definitely need some salsa or something, some sort of spice to kick it up a bit. Mm. Okay, I'll try it now. Mm. Mm. It literally tastes like a tamale. This is really good. It doesn't smell that amazing to me. Normally it's the smells that make me want to eat the food so bad. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to pass. I don't know why I'm, I'm really, really pushing myself. I want that glorification of winning. What's in front of you there? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. From where? From your kitchen. <laughs> so this is actually from KFC, but here is the twist. What country outside of the US do you think this is an important holiday dish for? I, really? KFC chicken, like holiday food. Oh, I know, I know where, I know where they eat this. Tell me in Japan. My dad also told me it's a Christmas tradition for some reason to eat KFC on Christmas. And I was like, why? It's KFC, I don't understand. According to reporting by Atlas Obscura, by 1973, KFC was the most popular chain in Japan. They had upwards of 75 locations and their Kentucky for Christmas promotion ran at each one. Really? Great job from that marketing company. <laughs> That's so interesting. I never would have thought KFC. I can see you're getting ready. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I promise. This is very tempting. It smells good, but it's KFC. It's not like, you know, five-star Michelin chicken. So I'm going to pass on this one. 
but it does smell good. I don't know if I need to eat KFC right now. Koreans are known for their Korean fried chicken. So KFC, KFC really stands for Korean fried chicken. This is passable. I mean, I, I like KFC, but no. Because <laughs> cause thinking there's gonna be a punishment, this isn't worth the punishment. We have traveled now to Ethiopia, where we are talking about perhaps the most famous holiday dish. It is yebegwat, which means lamb stew. And it's kind of a sister to the national dish dorawat, which is chicken stew. Um, have you ever had Ethiopian food no, before? No, no, I have not. I thought it was a crepe, and I was ready to like inhale some like Nutella goodness. And then I was like, that's not Nutella. The lamb stew probably would have been fine by itself in the stew. Why did you have to put it on this styrofoam and then cut it in the shape of a pizza? Since I am not going to Ethiopia, no time soon, I'm going in. That's a shame. I mean, I almost made it. But I want to say, you know, I tried some Ethiopian food. I want to say that. It's very good. If someone tried it, they would not be sorry. They would, you know, they would enjoy it. They would enjoy it. Mmm. Ooh. Is it? Ooh. I'm going to try this delicious. Mmm. Wow. That's so good. The bread is kind of sweet but it complements the like savory of that, like the spices in this lamb. This is giving me trypophobia. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass. I usually would be curious, <laughs> but I'm not, I mean, I'm not allergic to it, but I just don't like lamb. Ooh, I don't like the texture. I don't like touching it. This is not a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holiday. All I want for Christmas is that to go away. Jacob, that means you have officially won this game. And I won without being like super tempted to eat any. <laughs> you don't get the reward, but we wanted to show it to you anyway. You can look, this is a raspberry marzipan tart from Europe and specifically Germany. Wow, it looks beautiful. It looks bomb to be honest with you. Oh my God, this looks so good. The lamb was good, but was it, was it worth it? And it tastes good. Like the, the hot jelly or jam that's on the top, I'm into that, and then they have powdered sugar as well. But I'm really happy I stuck out until the end for this meal. It just melts in your mouth. That is so delicious. Okay, what's my punishment? So we're on to the punishment. Now, some people love this, some people hate it, but it is eggnog, and we have added extra heavy cream and extra sugar and crumbled candy cane to make this as rich and sweet as possible. Okay, you guys know how much I don't like really sweet things. I've never had eggnog before. Oh, you guys created it. I don't think it's gonna be a big seller. Oh, you guys do love me. I love it. Let's do this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like when you first drink it, it's like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then your taste buds like grab at everything that's in there and all that sugar and like that mix of flavor you guys somehow threw in here. And it's just like, why? I wish Christmas was every single day so that I could go to every country and celebrate Christmas how they celebrate Christmas. <laughs> We're so accustomed to certain things, you know, we should do that. We should actually go through that book and look for some more exciting meals because that was that was very interesting. And I, I appreciate you guys, you know, allowing me to go to these different countries because I never would have went. Thanks for watching us try not to eat global holiday dishes on replay. Subscribe for brand new shows every single week. Goodbye! Hey guys, Nick here. We know you want to see more of your favorite reactors and you can get that plus bonus footage, exclusive live streams and more at our memberships program. That's fbesuper.com and we will see you there. Bye.